I mean, some of this is just like kind of trash. Just a little PSA for everyone. If I talked trash about a book that you love, I'm so sorry. These are just my opinions and I understand that I do not have the same opinions as everyone else. I know that most of these books are like really random and strange so I don't know if I'm actually gonna offend many people with this video. It's just kind of weird. Okay so yeah. Subscribe to Rachel. Hey everyone it's Rachel. I'm not just typing on my computer. Uh, that's not my password. Hey everyone, this is Rachel. It's Rachel. It's Rachel of Moonlight Library. I am right now going to clean my desk and rant to you about some of my least favorite books that I put on Goodreads. I don't know what's going to be in my least favorite list. Mm, I mean like I'm going to go to my one stars and maybe chat about these books and why I hated them. <laughs> this sounds fun while I clean. <laughs> I did a reading journal video and this is what happened and that was like I feel like weeks ago uh go check that video out it's good and I just never cleaned afterwards because that is just typical me doing my typical stuff so oh we're gonna look up these books so the desk isn't clean yet obviously I haven't even touched it I tried to clean it but I don't think this is considered clean oh here I nope don't not by that let's let's sort by rating that would work oh <laughs> okay so <laughs> should I even talk I have one book that I didn't rate that I had read and <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't even talk about this book because <laughs> it was the worst book I've ever read but I feel like if I say what it is I'm gonna feel bad because it's like a local author wrote it and there are only four reviews or something on Goodreads and it has a 4.0 oh it only has a 4.0 someone rated it badly oh I need to look into this I'm so sorry someone gave it a one. Oh, <laughs> there are five ratings now with one one everyone else must know this man because it was the worst book I've ever read it is so I'm not gonna tell you the name Okay, I've just, I can't tell you the name because I would feel way too bad. But this man, he wrote this book that is like a memoir of him being in the medical practice. And on, he's on the cover, like all beaten up and like, oh, you know, his shirt's undone. It's like a drawn version of him and his tie's partially off or something. And he's like going through like, like I'm gonna save everyone and it is just like all over the place it was so bad I read it for my book club because one of the people in my book club knew this man and was like oh I feel like I have to read his book you know I feel like I have to let let's all read it together and I cursed this man's exit I mean I love my all my book club people but I cursed the fact that he made me read this book it was the worst thing I've ever read like I, so I couldn't rate it anyways that was a zero star it was oh my god he just he just thought he was such a badass this man and it's like dude just shut up I don't want to hear about your life anymore like oh he was just sucking his own you know what I mean anyways oh, these are all my Nat Geo's or not all of them, just some of them. I like to rip them up. Yeah. Okay, so it's not considered cleaning if you just move the things onto another table. But I need to get stuff out of the way so I can clean, right? Maybe this isn't even going to be cleaning. Oh, why do I even have some of these books? Maybe that's what I should do is a book unhaul. Or think about, why is this book in my life? Next up is My Dog Skip by Willie Morris. Love the movie, hated the book. I look back on that book and I say, I don't care about your dog. I like dog fiction sometimes, but th this wasn't it. It just ain't it, you know? I have no interest in, oh, whiny whiny, my dog. I'm not gonna run out and read Marley and me. I'm just not the type. I mean, Art of the Racing and the Rain was okay, but like, 
No, I, I don't care. Wine to someone else is stupid. The next one is Ready or Not by Meg Cabot. It's the second one in the All American Girl series. That sounds like American Girl dolls. But American, All American Girl when I was a kid, I loved this book. I was like, oh my God, she falls in love with the, the, the son of the president. How, mm, you know, like so cute. And then I remember Ready or Not was just about her losing her virginity and whether she's ready. And I was like, this is the stupidest book I've ever read. Like, the first one was cute and stuff, and the second one was just fucking garbage. I'm not cleaning anything. Sewing scissors. If someone cuts paper with this, I will kill them. All my roommates know it. Next up is So Yesterday by Scott Westerfield. So this is about innovators, you know, people that come up with stuff and marketing, but young adult too, and they're skating on their skates and they're making stuff. I feel like most of these books on my one stars are from a long time ago where I don't even have a date set for when I read them because I don't know when I read them. So that's one of those. Alias Grace, Margaret Atwood, I had to read that for class, so who even knows? I don't, I don't know why I didn't like it. It was probably just because I was reading it for class and I was like, I'm not interested. I don't even remember reading Lord Byron's Child Herald's Pilgrimage, like no memory of that. Where the Red Fern Grows by Wilson Rawls. I hated that. That was horrible. Everyone was like, oh my God, I cried for doggy. Okay. Maybe I have an issue with dead dogs in books. Like, maybe I just don't like it because everyone's like, oh, it's so sad when the dog died. And I'm like, maybe I don't care about the fact that the dog died. Maybe, I mean, I love dogs. No, don't get me wrong. I'm not like a, a dog hater over here. But maybe it's just not the type of book that I want to be reading about dead dogs. Maybe that's it. I don't, I don't know, because obviously there's a pattern in me disliking books that everyone talks about how sad it was when the dog died. Horse and His Boy, C.S. Lewis, that was the worst book that I read out of the Chronicles of Narnia series. Like, it was so bad. I remember being like, they should, like, he should have just thrown this in the trash. Yeah, you wrote it. But does that mean it was, like, supposed to be in that series? No, it had nothing to do with fucking anything. And it wasn't good. I remember I still feel this way. Right now, today, I'm like, throw that book in the trash. It was bad. It was bad. I don't care about your horse. Maybe I have animal issues where I'm like, I hate it. Like, I love my animals and everyone else's real life animals. But I don't want to read about your horse. I don't really remember the premise of the book, but there must have been a horse and there was probably a boy. Like, I'll tell you that right now, but it's just not something I really fucking care about. Am I doing a good job at organizing? No, I'm definitely not. I think there's like more room on this table, but like, I don't know if I'm doing a good job. <laughs> I need like a little basket. I guess this can work for now. This is perfect. Turns out I love this. The next up is Milkman by Anna Burns. And Milkman was like, wow, you literally wrote the worst book I've ever read. Like, this should have been number one. I didn't put these in an order of how much I hated them, but that was like top dog hatred. One of the worst book, or no, it's the worst book I've ever read. I just ranted about that book forever upon reading it. I read it for my book club. I chose it, a one man booker. And it wasn't worth it. I don't know why. Who was on the judging panel that year that said, great idea, let's nominate Milkman and let it win. It was a horrible book. I actually have seen that other people like this book and it's been confusing to me. I'm sorry if you like this book or like any of these books that I'm talking about. Maybe I'm just in a mood. <laughs> I'm just gonna yell about books for a second because I don't know, I'm bored and like, I don't really want to clean my stuff. So I'd rather spend a little time yelling because that's what's gonna get me through this. 
this is not an organization how-to video. It's more of like, I'm just organizing and you're watching and I'm not good at organizing. So don't think like, wow, I learned something from this because you're not going to. Like, you're not gonna learn anything from this video having to do with organization. It's just not gonna happen because I'm bad at that. Look, look, it fits. Look, it fits. Next one up is Jurassic Park. I just talked about how much I dislike this book. I didn't like this book because it's like, yes, I love the movie, but the book is just kind of like not great to me. It's not one of my favorites. I thought that it was so disappointing the fact that I didn't like this book. The movie that I love is based on, and I would have thought I would love it. Turns out I don't, which is very heartbreaking. Like, my heart was broken. And so I gave it a one because my heart was broken. And I think it's justified. I think it's very justified to hate a book that broke your heart. Sisters by Daisy Johnson. I just read that one this year and it was a very stupid book. Once again, we go back to just bad books. I called the ending of that book from the beginning of the book. I was like, what was the point of me even reading this if I was gonna call it from the very beginning? Like that's just upsetting and annoying. Like you really ruined my day with that one. Next up, Our Lady of the Night. I think I'm almost done organizing, <laughs> do you agree? Are you looking at this and going like, wow, that girl knows how to organize. Like put it together girl, because you're great. <laughs> so Our Lady of the Night was not a good book because what was this book even about? You know, like, I don't remember some of these books because I probably put them down in the deep dark place where I don't think about things. You know, I repressed it. Oh, it was about a prostitute, I think, in Puerto Rico. And I don't know, it was, it was just really poorly written. The sentences were like half a page, it felt like. There were points where they like, they kept describing people as looking like pumpkins or the sex appeal like a pumpkin. I remember sexualization of pumpkins and that is really weird and very concerning. Like if you have some sort of a love for pumpkins in that sense, that's something that you keep to yourself. I don't need to read a book about you loving pumpkins that much, you know what I mean? What are half these books? Okay, we're getting to a place where it's like, why should I even talk about these books that I don't remember? And I think I'm practically done cleaning. Would you say that I literally clean this? I wouldn't. At least it's like I can see my desk because I'm supposed to start school again soon. So I'm like, I need to make sure my desk is clean so that I can do my schoolwork. The last one we're gonna talk about is Coming of Age at the End of Days by Alice LaPlante. I think that my issue here, I'm just going to be honest with you, and something that I need to change about the way that I choose books. So I think one of my big issues is the fact that I sometimes have this thing where I see a cover and I go, oh, that's a pretty cool cover. I don't even know if this cover is really that cool. And it was just sitting out at the library. And I said to myself, oh my God, like maybe I should read this book. Like it looks interesting it, it involves like cults and like weird stuff so i was like yeah let's do it and i didn't even look up the ratings on goodreads and the rating ended up being 2.87 which is horrible like horrendous rating i remember it took me so long to read this book i don't know it's this weird road trip book evangelical cult situation apocalypse but somehow it has to do with cows i don't know they go to a farm somewhere at the end and it was just horribly put together the pacing was bad all the characters sucked like it, not, i didn't care about any of it so that those are my thoughts on these random books that i've decided that i would tell you about and I hope that you had a very fun time cleaning my desk with me because now I can like actually work on it, I guess. Yay! Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Sorry that this was a weird video and I don't know what happened and maybe I blocked most of this out, but I hope you had fun listening to me not remembering books. Like, wow, <laughs> so interesting.